Hi everyone, this is Trisha Thompson from Gluten-Free Watchdog. We have received two questions about converting a part per million gluten level into milligrams of gluten. This sounds like it would be a complicated process. It really isn't. You just need to bear with me as I walk you through this. Keep in mind that if I can do this, you can do this. I was an English literature major in college, not a math major. Part per million is a proportion. How many parts out of one million parts is the contaminant? So in this case, gluten. It is the same as milligrams per kilogram. Why? Because we have one million milligrams in one kilogram of food. And a kilogram of food is approximately equal to 2.2 pounds. I know that we are far more used to dealing in pounds than we are in kilograms. So I have a little visual aid that you can use, hopefully, to help you figure out your own math. So if a gluten-free food, like a bread, ready-to-eat cereal, dry hot cereal, dry pasta, contains 19 parts per million, or any amount, and you can use this same formula to take any part per million amount of gluten and convert it into a milligram amount for the amount of food that you're eating. And I eat one ounce of that bread product or ready to eat cereal. How many milligrams of gluten is this? So it becomes a proportion. So 19 parts per million again is 19 milligrams out of 1 million milligrams. And I want to know how many milligrams is in an ounce. And an ounce is the same approximately as 28,350 milligrams. Now, I'm not going to walk you through that math. You can either believe me or you can go Google how many milligrams in an ounce. And this is rounded, but it's basically that number. So if I'm doing the math and I have 1 million X, remember, I'm, I have a proportion here. 1 million X is equal to, and then you multiply across, 538,650 milligrams, and I'm solving for X. So you can do the math yourself, and X equals 0 0.54 milligrams of gluten. So if a product contains 19 parts per million, which again is the same as 19 milligrams in 1 milli million milligrams, then I can figure out how many grams, milligrams of gluten I am getting in one ounce of product. So you can substitute when you see a result on gluten-free watchdog, whether it's 10 parts per million or less than five parts per million, well, you don't really need to worry about that one, but um, 20 parts per million, 22 parts per million, you can set up this same ratio and solve for X. Now, obviously, what you need to know is how much of the food you are eating. So it's easy to think about it in, in ounces, but you need, to, you need to look at your product and look at the weight amount of one slice of gluten-free bread or one muffin or one bagel or one waffle and you can use this same proportion, but then you have to think about the total number of ounces that you're eating. So the reason that this is important is, for example, on Gluten-Free Watchdog, those of you who subscribe know that we have some higher levels than we would like to see for spices. But we don't eat spices in ounces, typically. So even though the amounts were high, the milligram amount of gluten that you're actually getting from that spice is a lot less than you would be getting from a bread, a pasta, or cereal simply because you eat more bread, pasta, or cereal. I hope this has been understandable. Um, if it isn't, send me questions. I can always post a follow-up video to answer more questions about parts per million to milligrams. Thank you so much.